let us consider left hand side of this identity left hand side is equal to a raised to the power minus 1 divided by sum of a raised to the power minus 1 and b raised to the power minus 1 and it is in addition with a raised to the power minus 1 divided by difference of a raised to the power minus 1 and b raised to the power minus 1. We know that x raised to the power minus m it can be written as 1 upon x raised to the power m. So using this rule here we can write left hand side 1 upon a the numerator of first part then denominator of first part is 1 upon a plus 1 upon b plus it is 1 upon a and it is 1 upon a minus 1 upon b now consider 1 upon a plus 1 upon b we can write it as a multiplied by b in the denominator multiplication of both denomin denominators in the numerator we will have 1 multiplied by b plus sign then multiplication of a and 1 so 1 upon a plus 1 upon b is equal to b plus a divided by a b okay similarly 1 upon a minus 1 upon b is equal to ab and denominator and in numerator we will have 1 multiplied by b minus 1 multiplied by a so it is b minus a upon ab so after substituting these values here we will get 1 upon a in the numerator as it is in the denominator we will have a plus b divided by ab then plus 1 upon a the numerator of second part and then b minus a upon ab denominator of the second part now we see that there is a fraction in which numerators and denominators both are fractions so in a fraction let us consider a fraction in which numerator and denominator both are in fraction just like a upon b whole divided by x upon y so we can simplify it keeping the numerator keeping the fraction of the numerator as it is and multiplying it with reciprocal of the fraction in denominator so fraction in numerator is as it is and we are multiplying it with reciprocal of fraction in denominator okay fraction in denominator is x upon y and its reciprocal is y upon x so using this rule here we will get 1 upon a fraction of the numerator as it is and we are multiplying reciprocal of the fraction in denominator similarly this part will be simplified like 1 upon a in multiplication with a b upon b minus a we can cancel a first part in, in second part and we will get it as b upon a plus b plus b upon b minus a further we can simplify it as multiplication of the denominators it is a plus b in multiplication with b minus a and in the numerator we will have b multiplied by b minus a plus a plus b multiplied by b further we can simplify it b is multiplying with b minus a so b multiplied by b is b square b is multiplying with minus a it is minus a b then plus sign here b is multiplying with a it is a b or b a plus b square in the denominator we can write it as b plus a 
in multiplication with b minus a and we know that x plus y in multiplication with x minus y is equal to x square minus y square using this identity we can write the denominator as b square minus a square and here we see that in the numerator minus ab and plus ab the result is 0 so we will have only b square plus b square and finally we can write it as twice of b square divided by b square minus a square 